Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 41st commencement exercises of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Lopez Quezon Branch. We welcome all of you who are watching this broadcast in different parts of the region to witness these most awaited ceremonies. This is the 41st commencement exercises of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Lopez Quezon Branch for academic year 2019-2020. We will now proceed to the presentation of the faculty, the university officials, the base of the university, the PUP Board of Regents, and our commencement speaker, no other than Dr. Manuel M. Muhi, the university president. The faculty, the heads of different administrative offices Dr. Rufo N. Weza Branch Director, the University Officials, Professor Pascualito B. Gatan, Vice President for Branches and Satellite Campuses, Ms. Marisa J. Ligaspi, Vice President for Finance, Mr. Adam B. Ramilo, Vice President for Administration, Dr. Zinaida R. Sarmiento, Vice President for Student Affairs and Services, Dr. Ana Ruby P. Gapasin, Vice President for Research Extension and Development, Dr. Emmanuel C. De Guzman, Vice President for Academic Affairs, the PUP Board of Regents, Honorable Ronald L. Adaman, Chairperson, Commissioner, Commission on Higher Education, Honorable Manuel M. Muhi, Vice Chairperson, President, Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Honorable Joel Villanueva, Chairperson, Committee on Higher, Technical, and Vocational Education. Honorable Mark O. Go, Member, Chairperson, House Committee on Higher and Technical Education. Honorable Rowena M. Daluson, Member, Director for National Economics and Development Authority Honorable Danilo L. Bello, Member Senior Assistant Vice President, Security Bank Private Sector Representative Honorable Antonio C. Muntupa, Member Vice Chair, CEO, East-West Bank Private Sector Representative Honorable Geraldine L. Pilar, Member Department Manager 3, Pag-ibig Fund PUP Alumni Representative 
Honorable Ramir M. Cruz, Member, President, PUP Federated Faculty Association, Incorporated. Honorable Eleanor Joyce G. Bartolome, Member, President, Anak PUP Student Council Federation. With Dr. Manuel M. Muhi, University President, as Commencement Speaker. The Doxology.
now proceed to the presentation of candidates for graduation by Dr. Rufo Enweza, Branch Director, and the conferment of degrees by Dr. Manuel M. Muhi, the University President. Mr. President, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the degrees. Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness Management, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, major in Marketing Management, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Mathematics, Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, Bachelor of Science in Office Administration, Major in Corporate Transcription, Diploma in Information Communication Technology, and Diploma in Office Management Technology with Specialization in Legal Office Management and Medical Office Management. From the Polytechnic University of the Philippines Lopez Branch, for the academic year 2019-2020. The graduation of these candidates was approved by the University Academic Council and confirmed by the Board of Regents. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Charter of the University and the Board of Regents, I hereby confer upon you the degrees for which you have been recommended with all the rights, honors, privileges, as well as the obligations and responsibilities hereunto appertaining. Introduction of the Commencement Speaker No true words could describe the commitment of our Commencement Speaker. Spanning 25 years of fervent an undaunted service towards Tintang Paralan, he once again dedicated his time, effort, and wisdom, this time in leading the university towards great heights. He vows to continue the seeds of reform planted by the incumbent administration and promises to do more given his new role. The task of becoming the university president is an immense responsibility, especially given the size and status of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines with the dream of becoming a national polytechnic university soon. The challenge becomes arduous and complex, but Dr. Manuel M. Mohi believes that his loyalty to the university and his humble experience are important ingredients to steering a redirection for PUP. After graduating in 1988 with a degree in civil engineering, he began planting his roots in PUP as a young faculty member. No longer after, he was designated as laboratory head of the College of Engineering from 1995 to 1998. During those years, he concurrently served as a chairperson of the Department of Civil Engineering until 2003. In 1999, he assumed the position of Program Coordinator for the Master's Program in Construction Management. He became the Faculty Assistant to the Office of the Dean in 2005-2006 then became the Program Chair of Masters in Construction Management. In 2006, he was hailed the Dean of the College of Engineering, a post he held for six consecutive years. During his stint, several reforms and outstanding programs were implemented. It was also during this period that the university rose to recognition because more students have been tapping different engineering licensure examinations. Because of his unparalleled leadership, he was appointed Vice President for Research, Extension, Planning and Development from 2012 
to 2016. He also served as the concurrent executive vice president from 2014 to 2016. After which, he was appointed vice president for academic affairs. Dr. Mohi strongly believes in enhancing the research and extension trust of the university to meet not just the needs of the students and the faculty, but importantly, the society we long to serve. The reforms and programs he helped shape embody the university's motto, Mula sa iyo para sa bayan. Under his leadership, he developed the university's professional shareholder lectures to strengthen PUP faculty profile and encourage more academics to share their expertise to PUP faculty and students. Aside from his PUP tint, Dr. Mohi also served in several committees and working groups to expand his leadership and deepen his expertise. He currently serves as Consortium Director of Metropolitan Manila Industry, Energy and Emerging the Technology Research and Development Consortium. Previously, he was a member of Commission on Higher Education's Technical Committee for Engineering Technology, Technical Panel for Technology Education, and a Technical Working Group for Civil Engineering Program. Indeed, he is a man on a mission, a man entrusted to lead the university, to bring it towards greater development. The proud son of Boak, Marinduque, a faithful husband to his wife, Pamela Calixto Muhi, and a loving father to Manuel Miguel and Manuel Lorenzo. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome this year's commencement speaker, Dr. Manuel M. Muhi. Chad Chairman Prospero de Vera, Commissioner Ronald Adamat and the Honorable Members of the PUP Board of Regents, PUP officials, fellow faculty members, proud parents, beloved graduates, friends, magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Today we gather here to celebrate the culmination of all the efforts of this year's graduating class, their parents, guardians, their teachers, and friends under the nourishing wings of our Sintang Paaralan. What an honor to be given the opportunity to address this graduating class on this momentous occasion, knowing a few years from now, most of you will give PUP a respectable name in whatever field you chose to this day. Ngayong araw ng inyong pagtatapos, sisimulan ko ang aking maligayang pagbati sa inyong tagumpay sa pamamagitan ng isang tanong sa mga taong iginugol ninyo sa pag-aaral sa sintang paaralan. Natuklasan ninyo na ba ang kahulugan ng pagiging tunay na PUP yan? Iyan ang parehong tanong na pinagsumikapan kong sagutin habang tulad ninyo, ako ay pinalad na makapag-aral sa Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. I was a boy with a big dreams, but I did not just sleep and wake up one morning to see those dreams come true right away. I did it with all my blood, sweat, and tears and bunch of laughter along the way. I know I never would have done it without the help of my former teachers and my classmates, my friends, and even the hardworking personnel of PUP who showed me what public service is all about. Noong nagtapos ako ng civil engineering sa PUP, tangan ko ang mataas na respeto sa kalidad ng edukasyon dito. Hindi naglaon, bagamat alam kong mas mabilis ang kita sa pagiging inhinyero, Ang respetong lulan ko ay siyang nagtulak sa akin na magtrabaho bilang isang guro ng PUP. The promise of greener pasture did not stop me from doing what I love most, serving the people. Back then, I knew that being an engineer could be a lucrative profession, but I chose to stay. Because for me, being of service to the people in the precious name of PUP is priceless. Sino ang mag-aakala na isang simpleng mag-aaral na nooy binabagtas lamang ang makikipot na daan ng Teresa, Anonas, Hipodromo at Puresa habang marubdob na nangangarap hindi lang para sa kanyang sarili kundi para sa iba ay mabigyan ng pagkakataon maglingkod sa sintang paaralan bilang isang pangulo. 
Marahil kung hindi ako napadpad sa PUP, hindi ko makakamit ang aking pangarap at hindi ko mabibigyan ng pagkakataong tulungan ang iba na abutin ang minimiti nila. Yes, of course, I know that you may say that like the boy that I was uh, before, you still have a long way to go. Some of you may be bound to traverse the road full of humps and bumps. Others may be too take the rather plain and flat path. But always remember this, the things you do today may not be able to predict your future, but they can certainly prepare you for your journey to success. However, before this celebration ends, let me share with you the L-E-S-S-O-N-S Lessons Life has prepared you to learn as you attain all your heart's desires. L. Learn. To, every day is an opportunity to learn something new. Kung akala ninyo ang natutunan ninyo sa kolehiyo ang tanging susi para mas mapabuti ninyo ang inyong sarili, nagkakamali kayo. Ang kaibahan nating mga piyupian sa iba ay ang ating pagiging bukas at determinado. Handa tayong matuto at sumubok ng bago. Handa nating gawin ang mga bagay ng may pagpagkumbaba at respeto. Even if PUP graduates are most preferred by employers, we should not be complacent and be content with what we have learned. We should always strive to become better version of ourselves. Sabi nga ni Robin Williams sa pelikulang Dead Poets Society, Kirby Jem, seize the day. Make your lives extraordinary. Yes, you need to seize every opportunity. Seize every moment, big or small. Focus on building, improving, and putting yourself into a well-meaning plans and actions that will contribute in attaining and accomplishing all your dreams. E. Engage. Our time on earth is short and it is not supposed to include only our own job and family. We should have greater accountability to the community. It is where we should engage ourselves more. Likas sa ating mga piyupian ang maghangad na makibahagi sa lipunan sapagkat alam natin na bayan ang ating sandigan. Nilinang tayo ng edukasyon, may malalim na pagpapahalaga sa taong bayan. S. Share. Theodore Roosevelt once said, Be practical as well as generous in your ideals. Huwag nating ipagdamot sa iba ang ating kaalaman, lalo na ang kakayahan nating mapadali ang isang mahirap na sitwasyon. Walang saysay ang ating talino at talento kung hindi natin nagagamit upang tumulong sa iba. S. Seek. When you find yourself in a difficult circumstance, seek for solution for the help of other people around you. In an institution such as PUP, the key to get through in a challenging task is to overcome it with the collective effort of all its members. Kaalaman, kayamanan, at kaibigan. Yan ang maari nating matagpuan sa pagnanais nating maging bukas at mapanuklas. O, obey. When the late author and poet George MacDonald wrote, Obedience is the key to every door. He must have been meaning that following policies can lead us to clarity, order, and success. However, there are far more important virtues than mere policies and guidelines, and those are the humanistic values that we must uphold. Lagi nating tandaan na ang pagsunod sa mga alituntunin ay tanda rin ng respeto sa iba, sa sarili at sa ating piniling profesyon. And nurture, now and more than ever, is the perfect time for nurturing ourselves and the people around us. This means that we have to encourage growth and development wherever we are and no matter how slow the pace may seem. The situation the whole world is in already difficult for us to process. So as much as possible, let us be each other's source of hope and inspiration. S. Serve. The ultimate price of being a PUPian is the duty to serve the people. Nananalaytay sa dugo nating mga PUPian ang tungkuling ibigay sa bayan ang nararapat sa kanya. Ito ay sapagkat walang higit pa sa pagsisilbi sa tinibuang lupa. PUP is and will always be of the people, by the people, and for the people. Mga mahal naming mga magsisipagtapos, alam kong hindi matutumbasan ng mga salita ang lahat ng hirap at pagsisikap ninyo at ng inyong pamilya upang kayo ay makapagtapos sa pamantasan ng bayan. Ang PUP, ang ating sintang paaralan, sa kabila nito, hayaan ninyong gamitin ninyo ang okasyong ito upang ipagdiwang 
ang inyong nakamit na tagumpay. Ito ay araw ng pasasalamat unang-una sa paong may kapal kung saan ang lahat ng biyaya ay nagmula. Sa inyong mga magulang na lubos na nagsakripisyo upang maitawid ang inyong pag-aaral sa mga kamag-anak, kaibigan at mahal sa buhay na tumulong at nagbigay ng suporta hanggang sa huli. Nawa ay hindi ninyo malimot kung sino-sino ang nariyan habang kayo ay nagsusumikap at kung saan kayo nagsimulang mangarap. Palagi ninyo sanang piliing paglingkuran ang bayan saan man kayo magtungo sapagkat kasabay ng pagtatapos ninyo sa PUP ang pagsisimula ng inyong tungkulin sa lipunang inyong ginagalawan. At this point, I would like to pay homage to the parents and guardians of our graduates. Dearest parents, We thank you for your support and for having faith in the dreams of your beloved children. Kasama po kayo sa paghubog ng kanilang mga pangarap. Kayo ang kanilang inspirasyon. Kasama po kayo sa kanilang mga hinabing magagandang mga pangarap. Sabi nga po ni Eleanor Roosevelt, The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Ang lahat ng mga magagandang pangarap na ito ay matatamasan ninyo kung meron po tayong tapang at determinasyong ito ay harapin. This celebration is as much for you as it is for them. Thank you for selflessly denying yourself for lavish things so you could provide for their needs first. Thank you for your callous hands that shape the future of this generation. As parents, you are the heart and soul of this nation. You are the parents of the teachers, engineers, professionals of this country. And it is in your homes where they will always find their roots and their hearts. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to my colleagues in this university. I know that our profession is not the most lucrative. There is but look at all of these graduates. They are your legacy to this country. The moment you touch their lives, you have contributed to the betterment of our nation. And from here on, you are infinite. Sila ang ating legacy. Sila po ang ating tropeyo na hinubog natin upang maging isang mabuting mamamayan ng ating bayan. Higit sa lahat, bilang mga anak ng ating sintang paaralan, naway lagi ninyong isabuhay ang likas na katangian ng isang PUP-an. Sapagkat dahil mga anak kayo ng PUP, hindi hindi mabubura kailanman ang katotohanan na sa puso ninyo bilang isang scholar ng bayan. Ang Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas ay mananatiling inyong dakilang tahanan. Mula sa iyo para sa bayan. Padayon mga kapwa PUPian. Congratulations at mabuhay kayo. Mabuhay ang PUP. Maraming salamat po. The graduates with Latin honors from Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, major in Marketing Management, Ramirez Mikey Amparado, cum laude. From Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness Management, Mariposke Marilyn Abrencillo, cum laude. From Bachelor of Science in Office Administration, Major in Corporate Transcription, Avila Maria Paz Inero, cum laude. Dada K. Ann Usenya, cum laude. Barao Glenda Bulfa, cum laude. From Bachelor of Secondary Education, Major in Mathematics, La Roga Rose Gutierrez, cum laude. Navarro Michelle Felipe, cum laude. Adai Jillian Rose Medalia, cum laude. Diasis Rieline Villaluz, cum laude. Maranyan Jeremy, cum laude. Banyares Ivy Lalata, cum laude. Juan Maria Joyce Likas, cum laude. Pilarca Aiza Rebolido, cum laude. Linga Wensi Siguera, cum laude. Oriarte and Shirley Pranada, cum laude. Ralia Generous. Hakom, cum laude. Balisteros Jera Marie Cambronero, cum laude. Katamio Angel May De Castro, magna cum laude. 
Angel Lorely De Castro, Magna Cum Laude. We will now have the top graduate, Miss Lorely D. Angel, from Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Mathematics, the Magna Cum Laude of Class 2020, to deliver her speech in behalf of the graduates. The past months have been head spinning for most of us. Schools were abruptly closed to contain the spread of the virus. We were then advised to stay at home and minimize mobility to shield ourselves from COVID-19. We found ourselves wondering what lies ahead of us in the midst of the profound challenge and uncertainties. How much longer will the virus last? When will the cure and the vaccine emerge? Will the economy heal? Will life return to normal? These are some of the questions that have probably run into your mind lately. But let's take things and stride because today is a glorious day. Today marks a transitional moment in our lives. Because today, on this virtual ceremony, we are celebrating the victory we have earned after hurdling the challenges of collegiate life. To the members of PUP Board of Regents, to our dear University President, Dr. Manuel M. Muhi, to our Executive Vice President, Alberto C. Gilio, our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Emmanuel C. De Guzman, our Vice President for Student Affairs and Services, Dr. Zenaida Sarmiento, our Vice President for Research, Extension and Development, Dr. Ana Ruby Gapasin, our Vice President for Branches and Campuses, Professor Pascualito B. Gatan, P.U.P. Lopez Branch Director, Dr. Rufo N. Gueza, Branch Officials, Faculty Members, Administration Staff, Fellow Graduates, Parents, and all those who are watching this virtual ceremony, warmest greetings of peace and goodwill. Four years ago, we entered the gates of the Sintang Paralel. We were then so naive and immature in so many ways. But, the Sintang Paralel painstakingly provided us with a broad spectrum of knowledge and valuable experiences to sharpen our skills in our field of choice. There were many opportunities and platforms provided to us to enhance our personal growth. They came as a perfect blend of joy and pain, of success and failure, of ups and downs. Those experiences are truly irreplaceable because they enrich our lives significantly. I must say, it's simply difficult to summarize all those learnings and experiences in one graduation speech. But what is definitely clear is that we manage to beat the ads. Our life in college has equipped us with valuable experiences, knowledge, skills, and values that are essential in the next threshold of life we are about to face. So, my deepest congratulations to all of us, the 2020 graduates. Our graduation ceremony may not be the same as what we had in the past because we are observing social distancing. 
circumstances are far from normal. Nevertheless, we have to remain jubilant because the culmination of our years of studies has come and we have to be proud of the way our university has responded to the challenge of the new normal. Of course, we cannot achieve this milestone without the support and guidance of some people. Foremost, we owe a big thanks to our parents for their unconditional love and unwavering support. Literally, we won't be here without them. Our Sintang Paaralan, the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, for equipping us with knowledge, skills, and values that are significant tools in facing the diverse world and its people. Our friends and classmates whom we shared our precious moments of friendship and learning. Our dear mentors, our professors, who selflessly share their wisdom and expertise to us to make us well-rounded individuals. And of course, our dear Almighty God, for His provision and amazing grace which sustain us through the years of our studies. Fellow graduates, I know that most of us continue to wonder what's next after this. Are there enough opportunities to all of us? It's not the end of the world. And definitely, there are many creative things we can do to make this world better. After all, we are PUPN. We are tough. And we know we can get through this. Remember, tough times never last. But tough people do. So I say, PUP class of 2020, let us hold our head high and show our passion and excellence. Let no coronavirus take away from us our brilliance as we find our place in the world of profession in the new normal context. Good luck and God bless everyone. The graduates of Bachelor of Science in Accountancy with Assistant Professor Maribel D. Chan as the Program Advisor. As of second semester academic year 2019-2020, Cachuela Haname Dagos Flores Nigel Jim Antaso The graduates of Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness Management With Dr. Leliden Wise Urbano as the Program Advisor As of Summer Academic Year 2018-2019 Beringuela Princess Joy Liwanag Dumitita Jacqueline Marcaida Martizano Jan Hernan Alarcon As of Summer Academic Year 2018-2019 Tawagon Jan Ray Mahonray Marcaida As of Second Semester Academic Year 2019-2020 Almoradi Carla May Cervantes Amparo Marilyn Cubalies Angeles Evangeline Serquia Antones Diana Alfonso Arandela Reynelin Lacuarin Arela Alisa Narvaez Austria Ricardo Alberto Belmin Roland Abanilla Buena Obra, John Mark Balinkin 
Buena Obra, Lyra Balinquil. Cantiliana, Jeremy Lassi. Carmona, Riza Gonzalez. Del Prado, Jeffrey Joe Angeles. De La Cruz, Jan R.G. Almadrones. Gasser, Claire May Abelgas. Grefal, E.J. Christian Salveron. Israel, R.D. Abillera. Jimenez, Jesse Quiz. Laceste, Ella May Almacha. Yunor, Raniel Masaya. Lopez, Marquis Reliama. Lumitao, Jan Cedric Capanzana. Mariposque, Marilyn Abrencillo, Cum Laude. Mascardo, Leon Rose Villanueva. Mendina, Michael Escobar. Musa, Aljay Tilo. Olagur, Lady Leslie Lumabi. Oriarte Alan Buraes. Pitero Ronadel Casiano. Ribano Judelin Hernandez. Sanchez Christian Buisan. Silverio Virginia Carico. Sunga Jan Eric Inero. Tipo Filman Almujer. Verdera Earl Marty Corvina Villarino Ian J. Masaga Zorbano Rachel Okbian The graduates of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration Major in Marketing Management With Dr. Veronica S. Almase as the Program Advisor As of second semester, academic year 2019-2020, Adao Jemmy Feya Caballero, Agricola Ira Jane Bulfa, Alvano Daryl Lasaga, Anahao Rachel Bisaen, Andal Christine Venerable, Andrade Ace Bilogan. Arit Michelle Tagnia Avendano Rianel Agaton Bandales Nicole Cuerdo Bo Nia Carla Magdalena Bondoy Kimberly Bongalos Bravo Christine Joy Argamosa Cabases Jan Francis Semifranca Desembrana Hervinger Bravo Dolor Dennis May Lasala Dries Ria Illustre Duazo Razel Joy Manalo Enclano Zarina Kunana Enteria Melky Grueso Ermina Mary Jean Espinida Lealine Villar Forbes Rachel Ann Barameda Francisco Laika Del Prado Gupit Christine Andal Hirang Maria Isabel Cabases Utalia Joshua Acosta Lapis Valerie Claire Capunpon Lopez Cindy Turgo Makapia Mariel Angela Buno Maligaya Alfi Cabadin Maloles Sherwin Joe Rehano Moreno Junior Henry Abragon Navarro DJ Escurido Prisno, Mark Anthony Genciana Ramirez Mikey Amparado 
Cum Laude, Regidor Ronwell San Juan, San Diego John Francis Gamad, Saspa Danica Boncaro, Tonga Monique Joy Rico, Omali Mariel Briones, Vergara Liza Gupi, Villapando Samantha Malana, Zamora Bernadine Monterde, Zara Lizelle Cueto. The graduates of Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. With Engineer Nelson N. Enchanza as the Program Advisor. As of second semester academic year 2019-2020, Abilito Mariel Aquino, Acuna Mayla Balmes, Alik Busan Rusel Harriet Merhinio, Ancheta Robin Lee, Amulo Jan Alexis Alvaro, Arellano Kimberly Dayan Zamora. Arinto Princess Dayan Balatazo Jan Vincent Caparos Bamba Jan Carl Enriquez Barreto Nerven Arevalo Kamahin Mark Verhel Inohosa Campbell Glenda de los Santos Collio Michelle Angela Trillanes Comple, Jennifer Digito, De Guzman, Genesis Bartolome, Dorado, Brian Brozo, Duran, Nika Vicenta, J.D. Villapando, Egliani, Kenneth Randall Reyes, Igos, Chris Mark Padua, Esteban, Riz Nail, Danseco Factor Vince Jimenez Florido Josephine Lumpay Funelas Jana Ray Peralta Graho Mark Anthony Villalon Hernandez Mark Joseph Salamat Hernandez Remeline Dimatulak Hamito R.J. De La Cruz Jaurege, Sherwin De Castro Javier, Mary Rose Rosita Laroa, Melanie May Villanueva Maglimas, Alondra Senya Olea Magtibay, Limuel Oblina Malabana, John Paul Roadilla Mamay, Isaac Abdul Priscilla Mansilia, Princess Elias Maristela, Jomar Isturas Masaganda, Richelle Arelia Molines, Ravaine Agustin Nagal, Christopher Angeles Odona, Hazel Angelica Salvador Ong, Jan Daniel Pasumbal Orogo, Enard Hernandez Pasha, Mark Jerome Encaliado Pajarillo Fidel Argote Pasadilla, Bren Gualbez Plata, Nina Niza Alano Potes, Jan Gabriel De Leon Resho, NJ Dapula Reynante, Vanessa Dora Silang, Glenn Chazon Talabo, Henson Dave Florido Targa, Ana Camille Otalia Tolentino, Jails Petil 
Valencia, Angela Nina Santa Rosa, Verdan David William Mendoza, Villafuerte, Vina Evita Abillera, Villancho, Hannah Dayan Magsadya, Villegas, Joseph Rafael Bertillo, the graduates of Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, with Engineer Cesar S. Prion as the Program Advisor. As of second semester, academic year 2019-2020, Abililia Aldwen Inon Jongo, Abetria Joy Balane, Agorto RJ Kangao, Agudo Elaine K. Sular, Anong Junelle Ives Camo, Bandejas Lalin Daluangpo, Bombay, Ian Oliver Burser. Guerano, April Rose Sanchez. Calatrava, Ritz Jade Segui. Cañete, Jason Barros. Chavez, Nico Kiane. Giuseppe, Jeffrey Sam Lusabio. Curioso, Jean Adrian Paniza. Ditera Carl Anthony Francia Encina Lijay Lubugi Eranjo Jimuel Imata Iskleto Quinilin Valenzuela Escobar Maricon Villapando Fulay Almira Pangan Gamaya Jeral Gisalba Hendrano Jessa Nina de los Santos Inocencio John Kerry Oro Jimenez Ronald Bailador Langit Eldridge Zuleta Lial Marjorie Dicena Manalo Kobe Bryant Rilao Marasigan Grizel Villa Camilong Mariano Christine Bea Palma Nera Clemson Amandi Nueva Jan Bobby Collado Olviga Virgin Cabanella Ortega Marian Elaine Toribio Palillo Brian Jones Brugada Pantao Eman Pandino Puntud, Angelica Rivarez. Rebolia, Al Brian Alvarez. Revilla, J. Mark Murillo. Siguera, Dayan Alison Arellano. Segui, J. Lester Targa. Segui, Junior Virgilio Cablaida. Targa, Junel Otalia. Valdez, John Lloyd Alpuerto Valeros, Christopher Joseph Saison Vargas, Ryan Baria Vergara, Darwin Masaganda Villan, Wella Ross, Hermosilia Villaplana, Zyril Oraye The graduates of Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Mathematics. With Associate Professor Telma D. Olevar as the Program Advisor. As of second semester, academic year 2019-2020. Adai Gillian Rose Medalla, Cum Laude. Ahero Don Dranreb Lustado. Aniel Lorely Di Castro, Magna Cum Laude. Arandela Ronaline Gonzalez. Baliin Melvin Escoto. Balisteros Jeremy Cambronero, Cum Laude. Banyares Ivy Lalata, 
Cum Laude Basanta Princess Joy Alvarado Biringuel Jelani Gisulga Juan Maria Joyce Licas Cum Laude Kanya Romina Claire Dapilos Katamio Angel May De Castro Magna Cum Laude The Asis Rieling Villaluz Cum Laude Icaro Bianca Argulia Gonzales Maria Donna Hernandez La Roga Rose Gutierrez Cum Laude Lerum Jorina Alzona Linga Wensi Siguera Cum Laude Lorica Emily Dries Maranya Jem Juda Masaga Maranyan Jeremy Cum Laude Navarro Michelle Felipe Cum Laude Oriarte Anne Shirley Pranada Cum Laude Palino Mark Anthony Andrin Pilarca Isa Rebolido Cum Laude Ralia Generos Hakom Cum Laude Sanyo Jimar Leonilio Taronas Yunis May Laguna Taronas J.R. Herrera Torres John Mark Hapin Tumulak Erika Fatima Olviga The graduates of Bachelor of Science in Office Administration Major in Corporate Transcription With Assistant Professor Aquila Z. Mascardo as Program Advisor as of second semester academic year 2019-2020, Abasola Monica Ano, Abatayo Abigail Encinas, Abragon Vanessa De Guzman, Acosta Laika Elise Divar, Alava Sherin Iglesia. Almazan, Princess Anne Sinezal Andal, Glenis Villancho Arela, Mary Joy Buendia Avila, Maria Paz Enero, Cum Laude Balanak, Regina Guijarno Barao, Glenda Bulfa, Cum Laude Barrios, Anthony Marcos Basan Jean Paula Maranya Bautista John Paul Francisco Yato Rick Agustin Lizano Bermas Bielka Danseco Buag Mara Hilario Cabana Isame Garcia Kalipayan Jonabel Abelia Cantiliana Hazel Bilyaos Dadap K. Ann Osenya, Cum Laude Dihumu Joey Albert Espejo Dimatulak Manilin Balbayra Ebrio Liza Delica Eranjo Ivan Amular Escobar Milka Shara Garbulo Espanyola, Lawrence Ann Nahera Espiritu Realiza Iliera Esquilona Kimwell Pagao Felicidario Ana Lu Coral Hensaya Aubrey Busito Hari Ansaira Andohar Hernandez Joyce Andrade Homo Genesis Mancera Putamares Elaine Jordan Ibarra Heidi Adora Javier John Paul Junido Jerusalem Rufa May Salumbides 
Lagat Carmela Nero Lampos Crystal Ann Requina Lebranda Kimberly Joy Pasinos Lizano Frisa Lee Omali Magsino Rajaya Macy De Quiros Malaga Ricalin Idora Manalo Maria Diana Jane Amoranto Manuel Raceline Marco Manza Alvin Batangoso Maravilla Jereen Bareno Mascardo Menchi Fernandez Mayo Joy Galan Molde Maria Teresa Argamosa Montero Andrea Capilian Naron Leslie Marie Danyoso Pakala Hazel Joy Danseco Padua Sherilyn Ariola Principe Ariel Chris Mejila Kindoza Jessa Villasanta Ramirez Cristina Talisic Recalde Russell Pasta Rodriguez Elena Elaine Malazab Saabedra Jeril Alisa Esclanda Sasot Christian Nico Gutierrez Soriano Beverlyn Pamesa Sopilio Clarissa Ocampo Valencia Jenny Gomez Villancho Grace Valido Villegas Jeza Meca The graduates of Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management With Ms. Leslie Ann C. Magtibay as the Program Advisor As of second semester, academic year 2019-2020, Abililia Michelle Argamosa, Abordo Fria Manriza, Abuy Jomel Almario, Akula Jesus Ali, Alday Mary Rose Ornopia, and Mark Jason Romy. Andres, Ray Kizan Mascarinha. Argamosa, Ronnie Francisco. Barbosa, Stephen Phil Angelo Sahagun. Declaro, Maria Siena Alias. Flores Jr., Domingo de Torres. Gapay, Jeremy Doliaga. Jimenez, Eugene Joshua Tapay. Jimenez, Everlyn Pasha. Leonor, Regine Canya. Makinyana, Jan Mark Cabello. Nunez, Caroline Francisco. Pinaflor, Dominic Norcio. Pumay, Erickson Del Mundo. Kidlat, J. Resume Perinha. Sargento, Ace John Abueza. Valmonte, Andrea Luis Avila. Vargas, Joshua Angelo Nolian. Villamor, Mark Nuniel Rawat. Yolante, Dean Joseph Amposta. The graduates of Diploma in Information Communication Technology. Ms. Marie Andre E. Zurbano as Program Advisor As of second semester, academic year 2018-2019 Itable Elvin Kenneth Saknanas As of first semester, academic year 2019-2020 Austria Paula Kim Olea As of second semester, academic year 2019-2020 
para iso Victor Fortuna. The graduates of Diploma in Office Management Technology with specialization in Legal Office Management. With Assistant Professor Dionysius A. Velasquez as Program Advisor. As of summer academic year 2018-2019, Flores Marilu Paikana. As of second semester academic year 2019-2020, Longdat Neo de la Cruz. Or Cine, Angel Laika Sarne. Shunisho, Carla Haine. Trijo, Maria Janelle Peregrina. Villegas, Monique Janice Lapeña. The graduates of Diploma in Office Management Technology with a specialization in Medical Office Management as of second semester academic year 2019-2020. Abasola Jessa Anog. Alcera Marilyn Sese. Antones Angelica Alfonso. Barago Jeroham Albino. Dihumo Hemelis Espejo. Idoria Ivy Ella Cubilo. Garcia Mabel Agaya. Hernandez Lani Lasiste. Ignacio Jomar Nohor. Inofre Dexter Braga. Hasila Jonathan Luna. Luna Daisy Nasayao. Magdalena Noemi Dasal. Maloles Leoven Miries. Mandreza Jericho Morales. Mendoza Patrice Jane Cantellana. Naval Mark Ian Villate. Obejas Princess Espejo. Forrest Maria Frances Pahad. Orlai Earl Vincent Taya. Postre John Paul Cesar. The Pledge of Loyalty by Honorable Geraldine L. Pilar, the President, Federation of Alumni Associations in PUP Incorporated. Itaas ang kanang kamay at ulitin ang aking mga sasabihin. Ako si... Ako si Samantha Villabando. Na nagtapos ng kurso... Na nagtapos ng kurso ang Bachelor in Science and Electrical Engineering. Ay buong pusong nanunumpa. Ay buong pusong nanunumpa. Na magiging tapat. Na magiging tapat. Sa lahat ng panahon. Sa lahat ng panahon. Sa mga adhikain sa mga adikain, panuntunan, panuntunan, at prinsipyo, prinsipyo, ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas, ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas, ang aking sintang paaralan, ang aking sintang paaralan, at sa organisasyon ng mga alumni, at sa mga organisasyon ng mga alumni, na kumakatawan dito, kumakatawan dito, ako ay nangangako na tutuparin ko ang aking napiling profesyon. Ako ay nangangako na tutuparin ko ang aking mga napiling profesyon na may paggalang sa mga alituntuni ng universidad at sa mga batas ng Pilipinas. Na may paggalang sa mga alituntuni hindi ako gagawa ng anumang bagay na ikasasama ng kanyang pangalan. Hindi ako gagawa ng anumang bagay na ikasasama ng kanyang pangalan. Pagkos ay aking itataguyod ang lalong ikahuhusay at ikabubunyi ng kanyang pangalan. Ako sa iyo ang itataguyo ng lalong ikawusay at ikabubunyi ng kanyang pangalan.
bilang scholar ng bayan na kumikilala sa estado sa kanyang malaking ambag sa aking pag-aaral. Bilang scholar ng bayan na kumikilala sa estado sa kanyang malaking ambag sa aking pag-aaral. Iniaalay ko ang aking buhay. Husay at talino bilang kapaki-pakinabang na mamamayan ng Pilipinas. Iniaalay ko ang aking buhay. Husay at talino bilang kapaki-pakinabang na mamamayan ng Pilipinas. Ako ay maglilingkod sa aking kapwa-tao para sa ikauunlad ng aking bayan. Ako ay maglilingkod sa aking kapwa-tao para sa ikauunlad ng aking bayan. Ako ay magiging tapat at malayang susuporta sa mga adhikain at programa ng asosasyon ng mga alumni ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. Ako ay magiging tapat at malayang susuport sa mga adhikain at programa ng asosasyon ng mga alumni ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. Lahat ng ito ay aking tutuparin nang walang anumang pasubali o pag-aalinlangan. Lahat ng ito ay aking tutuparin nang walang anumang pasubali o pag-aalinlangan. Kasihan nawa ako ng poong may kapal. Kasihan nawa ako ng poong may kapal. Congratulations, graduates. Mabuhay ang mga taga-PUP. Mabuhay tayong lahat. exercises of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines Lomas Quezon Branch. Congratulations to all of you. A journey to a thousand miles begins today. I am Negimar Markaida, your Master of Ceremonies. Thank you for joining us.
foremost, I would like to share with you this very beautiful and inspiring quote from Leon Joseph Cardinal Sweetens. And it runs this way. Happy are those who dream dreams and are ready to pay the price to make them come true. Today marks a milestone for our Polytechnic University of the Philippines graduates who will now embark on a new chapter of their lives as future members of the country's workforce and nation builders. To all the parents and relatives who have stood behind our graduates in good times and in tough times, I say to you, you have been the inspiration that helped them realize their dreams. They are your sons and daughters, all talented and able young men and women who come from the four corners of the archipelago, who all work hard to finish their college education from the tradition of this great institution of higher learning. Equally worth mentioning are the PUP faculty, your work hard working mentors and teachers. I say that they have successfully transferred their knowledge and skills to these graduates and have completely prepared them to face the real world, a world that is full of competition and challenges. As Commissioner of the Commission on Higher Education and Chair of the PUP Board of Regents, I would like to congratulate the leadership of this university, headed by President Dr. Manuel Bui, for shaping the minds and hearts of these graduates and for training their sides towards greater heights, while molding them to develop their love for our country and its people. And to the graduates, let me say that while you march your way out of the portals of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, I could only wish for your success as you endeavor to achieve your goals, especially in these times of great upheavals. While your graduation has looked different for you because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The achievements is still the same. You have put in the same hard work. You have learned and grown so much. And we are all very, very proud of you. I am sure today will be only the first of many proud, successful moments for you. Be what you have been educated. Become who you will be. You are PUP graduates who will, be, who will bring pride and honor to your alma mater, ready and willing to effect change in our communities and help transform the world into becoming a better place for our peoples. In closing, let me share with you one of my mantras in education. And it runs this way. Education is not the sole determinant to one's destiny, but it is the biggest predictor to one's success. Congratulations on your well-deserved success. Mabuhay and maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Congratulations po sa ating mga scholar ng bayan na bahagi ng graduating class of 2020 ng Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Isang taus-pusong pagbati rin po sa lahat ng mga opisyal, faculty and staff at mga kawani ng PUP. Sa pangunguna ng ating University President, Dr. Manuel M. Muhi. Bilang chairperson po ng Senate Committee on Higher Technical and Vocational Education, Gayun din po ng Board of Regents ng PUP, 
Nagpapasalamat po tayo sa lahat ng inyong mga sakripisyo at kahandaan sa pagbabago para malampasan natin ang mga balakid na dala ng COVID-19 epidemia. All your current efforts and initiatives in responding to COVID-19 illustrate your capacity for turning adversities into opportunities. Patunay po ang virtual graduation na ito sa resilience o katatagan ng ating pamantasan sa gitna ng isang pandemya. But resilience has long been present in PUP, even before the pandemic. The capacity of overcoming challenges is a distinguishing quality of our graduates. It's one value that never diminishes and continues to manifest in their work ethic. As a recipient of an honorary degree from this university in 2013, and as an advocate of decent employment for young people, I am so proud that the graduates of PUP are the top choice of employers due to their positive work ethic. Kaya't kahit na po maraming nakaambang na pagsubok, suliranin ang ating kaharapin sa ating mga bagong graduates dahil sa pagbabagong dala ng COVID-19 sa labor job market. Tiwala po ako at tiwala kami na handa tayong sumaba at magtagumpay sa huli. We pass vital legislative measures to help you navigate your career path. In fact, long before the pandemic, we've jump-started the adoption of telecommuting or work-from-home act among businesses in the country. Now, we are supporting and uh, working on uh, legislations to support the development and growth of uh, digital careers and freelancing, which are in demand for the uh, 4IR and new normal job market. And of course, hindi natin nakakalimutan yung First Time Job Seekers Act. Ipinasa na po natin doon pa na pag nag-apply ko kayo ng trabaho, libre na ang pagkuha ng birth certificate, police clearance, medical clearance, even transcript of records sa mga SUCs para makatulong po sa inyong paghahanap ng trabaho. Gamitin po natin ang ating katak PUP sa laban na ito sa COVID-19. Paigtingin po natin ang saliksik sa pamantasan at patuloy na isabuhay ang papel ng ating universidad bilang daan ng tunay at positibong pagbabago sa ating mga mahal na bansa. To our graduates, your engagement in public service is fitting and proper as students educated for the government's coffers. You have the moral obligation and I'd like to remind you all of that to recompense Filipino taxpayers and to make a difference in this beloved country. Muli, maligayang araw po ng pagtatapos sa inyong lahat at patuloy tayong pagbalain ng ating Panginoong Diyos. To the members of the Governing Board of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, headed by our Chet Commissioner, Ronald Adama, PUP President, Manuel Moody, the deans and other university officials in attendance, our parents, administrative staff, and most important of all, our dear graduates who are here with us through uh, technology. A pleasant morning to all of you. I am honored and thankful for this privilege of joining you as guest speaker for this year's unique commencement exercise. As a member of the Academy myself, having spent my whole professional life teaching at various universities, including the University of the Philippines, since I graduated at 19 years old. It is during this time of the year that we, the faculty, administrators, graduates, parents, and loved ones, get a sense of triumph of hope and most important of all, happiness for this special occasion. It is in this context that I congratulate the university administration and faculty headed by President Moody for its fidelity to the primary mandate of the university enunciated in Presidential Decree 1341 which is to expand the program offerings of the university 
to include courses in polytechnic areas and also given the university the authority to expand the establishment of branches, consortia, and linkages so that education will be accessible to all. I am particularly proud and commend the Polytechnic University of the Philippines for being the vanguard to ensure access to higher education. It is true that UP is the national university, but it is more important to emphasize that access for the marginalized, for the students who come from other areas of the country, and for families that are unable to afford quality education, they go to the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. It is the mandate of PUP as a public service university and its provision of access to quality higher education, which distinguishes PUP as a premier university of this country. I know it sounds like a cliche to say that teachers and professors are engaged in the noblest of professions. You can even say that sometimes it is self-serving when professors or academicians like me say it. But it is during graduation that we realize the triumph and successes of students who passed by under the watch of professors. I was a student myself, just like all of you, just like our members of the board, just like our university officials. We were once curious freshmen and women when we entered the portals of our campuses. We were wide-eyed students trying to make sense of the buildings, the rooms, and most important, the professors, making sure we avoid our terror professors. And now, we are full-fledged graduates ready to face the world. This transformation from a curious freshman to a very competent, very eager and well-developed graduates. This is a process that happens under the watch of our faculty, staff, and administrators who took on the task of shaping the minds of young freshmen, together, of course, with the parents and the loved ones of these graduates. Allow me therefore to share with you on this important occasion three, three hopes that I hope will serve as part of your compass as you navigate further in life. These three hopes are, first, the hopes of a parent, second, the hope of a nation, and third, the hope of a graduate. Una, ang pag-asa ng isang magulang. Ikalawa, ang pag-asa ng ating bayan. At ikatlo, ang, ang iniisip ng mga pagsisipagtapos. Let me start with the first. Our parents always have the highest hopes for us students. I know they can be nagging, they can be pressuring, or sometimes they scold us. Sigurado ako, marami sa inyo ang napagalitan. Napagalitan dahil hindi gumigising ng maaga o 
umuwi ng masyadong gabi. Ang pagalitan dahil sa palagay ng magulang, hindi nag-aaral. O ang pagalitan dahil hindi kumakain ng mabuti, kumakain lang ng junk food at kumapasok na. This is normal because parents want us to fulfill our dreams to be able to provide for ourselves and our families, the family where we belong now, and the family that you might want to create in the future. And even for those whose parents are not with us this afternoon, wherever they are, in this life or beyond, all of them have or had high hopes for you. And the fulfillment of their hopes will bring honor to their name and happiness beyond measure as you fulfill and complete your, your education this afternoon. I know that because I am a parent myself. I remember when my daughter started and his her education, I was probably, uh, you know, more uh, stressed than she was when she started schooling. Because parents always believe that their children is a reflection of themselves. Kailangan magtagumpay ang mga anak at kailangan mahigitan ng anak ang nagawa ng matula. That is what every parent always worries about. That their children will not succeed. That, the chi that their children will not be better than them. And I shared the same hopes when my daughter went to primary school, went to secondary school, went to the university, all the way until she became a doctor. And I know the happiness, the unfathomable happiness that every parent feels seeing their children graduate and start their career. I am now a grandparent and I see my grandchildren as they grow up. They are now entering what was to us before high school. They are going to uh, Quezon City Science High School. And as I watch them do their online classes to start the school year, I feel the same, you know, hope stress and hopefully the sense of achievement as I see them develop through the different levels of education. The second hope that I have in mind is the hope of a nation, our Philippine nation. And this hope is concretized or is being realized when in 2017, aside from the subsidy that our state universities and colleges receive every year, Congress and the President appropriated 8 billion pesos so that our men and women, our students in 112 state universities and colleges did not have to pay tuition and miscellaneous fees anymore in 2017. In August of 2017, the same year, the President made history when he signed Republic Act 10931 or the Universal Access to Quality Tertiary Education which expanded the original subsidy of Congress to now include not just free tuition and miscellaneous, but to provide tertiary education subsidy to students who need it, to expand the student financial assistance program, and to provide free 
technical and vocational education to all young people who want to do it. These components of RE10931 are historic because this has never happened in the history of Philippine higher education. And today, we are the only developing country in the world that is implementing universal access to quality tertiary education. My friends, graduates, it used to be that only around 5% of students in higher education receive scholarships and financial assistance. It is now more than 40%. When UWACTE was implemented in 2018, about 1.1 million students in 112 state universities and colleges and close to 100 local universities and colleges did not anymore pay tuition and miscellaneous fees. And overall, if you include the tertiary education subsidy, 1.47 million students have been assisted by government through the free higher education law. Today, we have increased the number of students being assisted to close to 1.8 million students getting some form of student financial assistance from government. Overall, this is more than 50% of the total enrollment in higher education in both public and private universities. It took a mayor from a city in Mindanao to make this happen. It had to take a mayor to tell the public in the election of 2016 that it will help young Filipinos achieve their dream of higher education. And that promise has become a reality because that mayor became President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. The investment given by government to you is given freely without conditions, but with the hope that you will pay it forward by becoming responsible members of your communities and responsible citizens of this country. Dear graduates, that is the hope of the nation. Please do not let the Filipinos down. As we talk about the hopes of your parents and the nation, I know and I understand that you have your own hopes as graduates. This is the third hope I was referring to. For some of you, you hope to be employed after graduation, or start or join a business, or make it big in sports, or even showbiz. You have your hopes to express your being, to enjoy life, and do the things that you really love. I want to tell you that the real world is significantly different from your life within the university. But I am confident that with your learning journey in PUP, you are more than ready for the journey ahead. I ask that you have the heart of a servant, no matter how high the status that you reach, it is only in service that we can find fulfillment and potential to transform our communities. Service is the ultimate expression of your excellence. And finally, I ask that you do it untirely, untiringly. Do it consistently. If you do this, you follow the path 
that all graduates of PUP, when it was still Philippine College of Commerce, the same path of service that they have taken during the most difficult times of this country is the same path that you will take now as you end your, your uh, university education and commence your professional life. We had visionaries, excellent, excellent ones that have come from a university like PUP. Please follow their path. Be untiring. Never quit. Because quitters will never have a chance to win. I ask you in behalf of the Commission on Higher Education and in behalf of the Philippine nation to now become leaders as you start your professional life. Thank you and congratulations.